disturbing new information from the eight news now investigators gory details of the man accused of killing another man and eating his face that man now indicted for murder and you can add a mayhem charge as well eight news now investigator kyle payne here with those disturbing details Brian Denise, the grand jury in Clark County heard firsthand from witnesses who say they actually saw the defendant, Colin Check, eating his victim's face. 3.40 on a weekend morning this spring in downtown Las Vegas, where court documents say video shows defendant Colin Check standing outside this 7-Eleven on Charleston and Las Vegas Boulevard for at least an hour. By 5.40 a.m., those documents say Check had moved down the street to the AM-PM convenience store where an employee is said to have, quote, ran Check off. Police report says, and the 8 News Now investigators were first to report, Check killed another man at the bus stop there across the street. An eyewitness telling the grand jury, quote, I thought the guy was giving him mouth to mouth, and I walked up closer. The dude was eating him. He was eating his face, like just munching. The witness saying he was 10 feet away from Check. He was asked, when you say eating him, what did you see that made you think that? Answer, he was eating him. He was like biting into his face. Question, so he was biting into his face? Answer, he was like biting into dude's face, like ripping it like he's a rib or something. He was like eating him. Similar to an account the 8 News Now investigators were first to bring you on the 911 calls from early that morning. He's eating him on the face of uh, which uh, one is me? Which is it? The HMA? The guy that's begging me on is me and the other guy on the street. Yeah. And that's been a guy. Police witnesses then describing photos of Check with blood in his hair and teeth, and the victim with bite marks on his face and injuries to his eyes and nose, cheek, and mouth. That victim, identified in court records as Kenneth Brown, missing an ear. Police crime scene analyst says that ear was found on the sidewalk on top of a $5 bill. Now, Colin Check's case heads from justice court to district court. If there's a murder trial, that's where it'll be held. His first court date post-indictment will be on Wednesday, Brian.